came across this old this old note I took that Playboy is using Cardi B as a way to rebrand the company because apparently they've been struggling ever since the whole hashtag Me Too movement and with Hugh, uh, you Hugh know what passing you know so what they're trying to appeal to a broader audience. I so actually do, I actually think uh, I think that's a lie. I oh what do you mean? No I, no it's real. I, I that's a true statement. No, the Cardi B thing, I believe that's real, which uh, t- to me seems like a mistake because she's like a stripper with an OnlyFans. So I don't know. You can probably see her naked pretty easily. No, I, I think where Playboy she went was wrong. a stripper too. Yeah, I said that. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I don't listen well. All that's right. O- yeah. That's okay. Continue. Who listens to me? No. <laughs> Clearly nobody by our <laughs> analytics. Oh, <laughs> rim shot. Anyway. Yeah, I don't think the Me Too is what hurt them. Um, they put a transgender uh, on the the cover once. Uh, that oh, I, I didn't I know think, they did that. Yeah, they did that. And um, some years ago, they announced they weren't going to do nudes anymore. So they just they just did a bunch of things to to bungle their brand. So I think that's what hurt them. I don't think it was Me Too. I think that was a convenient excuse to cover up the the problems. Actually, came from. Um, putting um, a a man with boobs in their magazine and then just being less than like the Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. Or yeah, it seemed like, yeah, they weren't really uh, catering to their audience, kind of like what we've seen with, uh, I think Victoria's Secret went like the same route with their like Victoria's Secret angels and stuff. Didn't they where... have one with Down syndrome? They did. Yeah, that's good. But I think most of them are like men now, though. As oh, that's angels. that's even even, even yeah. better. That's even and better. and and they have like a lot of like plus size too to oh, embrace the wonderful. Uh, it's all the yeah. very very like the Lizzo type. Uh, oh body yeah, yeah. Liz- and Liz- did you see yeah. that she was on The Simpsons? Did you see what she looks like? She uh, apparently lost a lot of weight. She looks good are you, on The Simpsons. You mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So she's no longer five hundred pounds. No, she's probably closer to, closer to like Homer's weight. Oh, that so well. Well, that begs the question: Is Homer supposed to be like? Oh no, no, because uh, Homer said his weight in one episode because there was that episode where he gained three hundred pounds. He and did. Remember, he became like a, he he tried to to get on disability, so he gained <laughs> a bunch of weight. I don't remember don't, that one. You, I think the episode is called Homer the Great or is, or King Size Homer. It's one of those names. Yeah, and he that just sounds it, fantastic. It's a really funny ep- like it's a classic episode. It's like R- Ralph says, "I heard your daddy went to the restaurant and he ate all the food in the restaurant <laughs> and they had to close the restaurant." I do remember that part. Yeah, and so then, I have and seen then, it. And Lisa says, "Just cuz my dad gained a little weight doesn't mean he's some food crazed monster." And they look out the window <laughs> and he's driving the ice cream truck and eating an ice cream bar. He's like, "Oh, I got that strawberry." That's pretty good. Yeah, so I I don't know. Is Lizzo supposed? I think Homer's supposed to be two hundred and forty pounds or two hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah, I was gonna say they make her look like she's around around that that weight, which they're probably trying to make it like even lower than that. Yeah, they can't have her looking the like they can't have her looking like Peter from Family Guy. No, uh, which she does. Um. Yeah, Li- Lizzo is one of Lizzo is. is just shows you that the entertainment industry has nothing but contempt for you. Because if like Lizzo was like a really amazing flute player and like played like classical flute, then it wouldn't be about like booty shaking. Yeah, and like, seeing someone of that size doing that. And yeah, it's, and it's, is it sustainable? Because I saw them do this. No, but, because you, those people die early of, of like heart disease. You can't sustain yourself on that weight. Oh, you're talking about the music industry. Oh, sorry. Go on. Yeah. Right. Well, I was actually going to say, uh, in the baseball world, because they had this, uh, sports illustrated, I think they do this like body issue and they feature someone, I think usually like naked, but they decided to feature Prince Fielder and he he's a baseball player and he is around 300 pounds is but like they were trying to make her what no how, he's an how outfielder you, his uh he's got his, his, why is his he father, so big why is he so big well his father is Cecil Fielder 
And he, he was putting up numbers, you know, in his 20s. And, you know, he's hitting like uh, 50 home runs a year. And then he signed with the Texas Rangers. And like two years into the contract, he ends up having a neck injury. And the doctor's like, you cannot play baseball ever again. You're done. And at like 30 years old. So I feel like it's been this trajectory of trying to push this unhealthy lifestyle on people. And it's proven that's not working out. It doesn't work in sports. It doesn't work in the music. It doesn't work in real life. It's not it doesn't healthy... work in movies. It doesn't work in TV. Mm. It doesn't work in any entertainment. It doesn't not even animation. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work. You, you can't force people to like things that are ugly. That's, and that's the thing is you get disgusted by things that are, oh, but why is that, that ugly? Well, because your body looks at it and it, and it, has a, a, it. a yeah it has a like a biological negative reaction to it. it it's not because you've been conditioned to think this it's just mm. people see big fat lizzo and they just think that you're supposed to like it otherwise you get punished like that's where we're at it's not that people accept it and like no it's good to do lizzo's doing her thing now there are absolutely brain dead people that haven't looked at it that like they don't care but most people see it and, and they don't like obesity. Do you remember that movie that came out? It was a cartoon movie where it was like a robot in the future. And he went to like, like, I think it was earth, but it was like covered in garbage. And then he saw the humans in the end and they were all these big fat pigs. And, and that was not meant to be endearing. It was meant to be kind of a warning. Do you remember that movie? Was, I I don't. Oh my gosh. It was like, it was like a Disney movie. It was like a, like a robot. He looked like the guy from robot nine or something or something like that. Or like, uh, he was robot. No, I robots. Will Smith. movie. No, (laughs) no, it's the, um, Oh my gosh. It's his name. Sounds like will. Is it called Willie? Is that the name of the movie? Will I am. No, that's that's the not a peas. robot. No, black eyed peas are terrible. But that's, yeah, that's really <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that movie called? And there, there's like I a girl robot. Me. Like, oh my gosh, he looks like Short Circuit, and he finds like a plant. I'm gonna be Wally? honest. Yeah, yes, yes, oh. Wally. Yes, that really, was it. there were people in that. There, yeah, there, he was like yeah. looking for that plant the whole time. I took my brother to that, and I was like. We just watched a robot just going, wow. Yeah. At, for like the, two hours. At the end of the movie, he ran into the people and they're all like 400 pounds and they're, they're, <laughs> they're sitting in that chairs. Movie. Yeah. That's the, that was the only thing I remember from that movie was the big fat humans. 